Thanks for tuning in to part four, the final episode of this general aviation series. I've been out flying around today, and now it's time to return home to Monroe. I'm arriving from the southeast and about to enter the traffic pattern for runway 23. It's a bit hard to see, but I'm flying toward a water tower, a landmark used by many to set up for a downwind pattern entry. Listening to the airport advisory frequency, I hear there's another aircraft arriving from the northwest that plans to overfly the airport and enter downwind. We are definitely traffic conflicts to one another, so I need to keep a watchful eye out for him. The water tower is about to go under the nose. From here I turn right and that puts me in a position to enter the downwind on a 45 degree angle. My plan is to do a short approach with a simulated engine failure. What I'll do is, when opposite the runway numbers, I'll bring the engine back to idle and practice gliding the aircraft to the runway as if the engine is dead. The other aircraft just announced that he has me in sight and will follow me on the downwind, which is great news. I'm now turning right onto the left downwind for runway 23. Alright, I'm all set up on downwind and need to slow down a bit. Okay, there's the end of the runway, engine to idle, and let's see if I can manage my airspeed and altitude and make it to the runway. Some flaps. There's base leg. So far, looking good. Some more flaps. A quick look up the final to make sure no one's coming straight in. Now turn to final. Looking good, so I drop the remaining flaps. Made it. Flaps up to dump some lift. That was good practice. Now slow down and exit the runway following the taxiway center line. Now let's find a tie down.
I see a couple of open spots. Bonus! There's one I can pull straight through the line to, so no need to push the airplane back. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed riding along. Until the next time, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride, and thanks for watching.